What's up, Oakland? Yeah, man, shit, happy to be here. I'm, I was feeling myself a little bit, though, when they put me on this show. I was like, shit, I'm famous now. Until I got here and a nigga tried to sell me tickets outside. <laughs> We're here backstage with Arsenio Hall and Ryan Davis. How are you guys this evening? Great. Yeah, Great. yeah we good, right, dog? Yeah, I'm doing all we, right. Yeah, we're going to try to pretend like we don't see this dress. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see how I'm staring at the camera? Dude. Yeah, people get in trouble now. People get yeah. in trouble for crazy I saw, shit. I saw the Me Too hashtag. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to be like, I remember that time I was with Ryan. No, you don't. Mm -mm. Ryan was... Mm -mm. Yeah, that Al Franken shit where your hand be slipping down. That motherfucker knew what he was doing. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right. I'm right here on the interview from now on. Y'all gonna think I'm a member of Houdini when you see me in the motherfucker. How you doing, girl? Now, Arsenio, you are a vet in the game. Been around a long time. How do you think the comedy industry has changed from when you first started till now? You know what, this is a perfect time to talk about that. Because back in the day, what you do is you get on TV. That was the big thing, get on TV. And then your stuff lives forever on YouTube. But it's flipped. And the brother to your right is one of the gentlemen helping to flip it. We discovered him on YouTube. And now, because he's so popular on YouTube, He's coming to TV and film. So, 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 so young brothers like that man right there are changing the game. Uh, and I'm glad because OJ and motherfuckers like that had changed the game to a place I wasn't comfortable with. Yeah. <laughs> now, for those who don't know, can you let us know who the hell is Ryan Davis? Oh, man. I'm just country boy out of North Carolina, man, who, who uh, just thought I wasn't, you know, ever really was going to get a real shot, so I made my own platform. You know what I mean? You have to. Now it's a lot harder to get on TV uh, because, as far as stand up goes, there aren't as many avenues. There was a Def Jam, a Comic View, and there was, there was a Senior late Hall night show. Senior where, Hall show. Where a lot of niggas went on TV. Yeah. yeah. Where a lot of niggas got on TV. <laughs> niggas, and there ain't platforms like that. There there's, hadn't been a black late night host since then with nearly as much success. So. Once, you know, you don't have an Arsenio no more, now you got to make your own platform. And luckily, you know... And Def, the, Def Jam is back. And I did it. I, yeah. I was on this last and, season. And you got to do one Def. while Russell was still hanging. Man, listen, I thought they, I thought they wasn't going to let it go. <laughs> Every day I was calling, like, is, is the show still airing? Uh, it's still, yeah. I, I'd already got the check, but I, I already told everybody I was going to be on TV. Yeah. I get a check back, but let me be on TV. Hey, dog, yoga and dresses like this have ruined many lives. <laughs> Man. <laughs> now, I, yeah. I would like to pick you guys' brain because a lot of people have a lot of hard feelings about comedians that are starting off with social media. Yeah. They're saying that... Rightfully so. They're saying that, um, I guess, they haven't paid their dues like the ones who have got famous without oh, it. What please do you let feel? me take this one. Yes. Let me take this one. All right. That's There's, such a valid question, though. Yeah. But, but he's going to handle the haters right about three, two, two one. Yeah. yeah. All right. I understand why they say that because whenever you're doing stand-up, it takes a lot longer to develop that stand-up set. But you're not going to tell me that a person who makes a video or two every day for three consecutive years doesn't have work ethic or isn't paying their dues. Yeah, remember Superhead? Uh, oh, oh, no, we talking comedy. 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 Okay. But I, all the people who doubt that, I dare you to come up with a different subject or a different topic to talk about every day for three years, luckily for me, I started out doing stand-up. A lot of people don't know that, but I was already getting paid as a stand-up before I blew up on the internet. So I see it from both sides. I understand how hard it is to put out content every day, just like I know how hard it is to build an hour worth of material you talking by yourself on stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stand-up is the hardest thing I've ever done man, outside of being a father. Like, stand-up is the hardest. So. I understand why stand-ups get upset, but I think people just need to understand it from both sides. Neither side is easy, all right? Stand-up is definitely harder, and they'll pay their dues. When, listen, anybody who blow up on the internet and they go perform on stage, those ain't your fans. They still and they are they fans. A lot of them people never even been to stand-up shows before. If anything, help them out and help them push the culture forward because they're creating more stand-up fans. In turn, could possibly be your fans too. So you're actually, by hating on them, you're actually holding the, you know what I mean, the the art back, and you shouldn't do that. Yeah, what do they say? Don't hate the player, hate the game, right? Hello. Definitely the game. Hello. Okay, I got to go. I got to go host the second half of this. 
Thank you, young lady. Thank you so we much. We really appreciate what you do and the way you do it. Yes, thank you for talking to us. You have a wonderful evening. Okay, bye-bye, y'all. Bye. -bye,